Hi guys. In today's video, we have another car vlog. And yes, I know, this is a bad angle. I am on a highway, which there's hardly any traffic. That's why I'm holding this up here. But this is what I have a mount when I drive to hold my phone. This little round piece right here is cracked and you have to tighten that so when you put the phone on, it stays. Well, what happens is when I put the phone on, it drops, see, it drops. So I don't have a holder. So I'm on my way to go to the dentist. Um, I'm on phase two of my partial where it came in. I have to try it on. If it fits, then they send it back, do the work, whatever. And then the next time I go, I pick it up. So this is like an in and out. So then after my dentist, I'm gonna go to Five Below and get another one. But I wanted to come on here real quick since there's hardly any traffic. And I'm early. Uh, my appointment's not for about an hour and it takes about 36 minutes to get there. So that is that. This is an awful bad angle. Look at this. All right, I'm just gonna drive. And uh, when I get there, in about 30 minutes, I'll come back. This is terrible. Treat them All right, while well, I'm here, this is like so awkward, <laughs> the way I have to hold this. So I'm like a half hour early, so I'm gonna go in there. Hopefully they can get me in and get me out. And, um. I'll be back. <laughs> All right, I'm back. <laughs> Another weird angle. I tried to like hold this. So I have it up. Um, I'll show a video of like how it looks. And it just falls, you know, so I have you like this. So I'm on my way back. Everything fits. It just feels weird um, when that partial's in your mouth. And then there was like metal shown. and I'm like, I don't want that metal. So they have to take that metal thing off. I'm like, uh-uh. Um, Cause then it looks more obvious, you know, that it's a partial in. So, all right, I'm going to drive home because I know I'm shaky and um, you know, holding it and stuff. And uh, I'm gonna go on a walk today. So that'll be part two, our little walk and talk. Then I'll have the selfie stick where I can hold. But I'm gonna go now and get another um, thingamajiggy. You guys know what I mean. I'll be back. Okay, the sun is out. Um, do you wanna hear something as I was like walking, I was thinking. So earlier we had the car vlog, right? And you know, that thing was broke, you know? So like if you put the phone up, the phone was too heavy and it would just fall. And so I recorded a little bit. Of course I haven't edited the video yet cause I'm still vlogging. So I don't know what I got, what I didn't, what I'll edit out, you know, the angles. Normally, sorry, I'm out of breath. Normally, I would have just deleted everything. <laughs> and I would have started my vlog from this point. And then I would have said, earlier today, I went to the dentist to do my final, you know, testing out for the partial. I would have explained, oh my goodness, you see all the geese that's here. I would have explained the situation, what happened, <laughs> you know, about why I didn't record it, but I wouldn't have showed it. I am at the point in my life that I don't care. In other words, I don't have to be professional. Do you know what I mean? Like nothing has to be perfect because that's how I used to be. What? in the world are all these trash bags. Are you kidding me? Or is that snow? That cannot be trash bags. That's somebody 
stuck out. What the heck? Let me see. All right, I'm gonna show you what I see. You didn't think I could put my leg up that high, did you? <laughs> Hold on. So let me zoom you in. Do you see, the, I don't know if that's trash bags by the water. Let's see if you can see the geese. Can you see the geese way over there? I'll get closer, you can see them. So let's walk. I mean, it could be snow. Yes, that's what it is. It's snow. <laughs> I thought it was trash bags. Holy crap, it's ice, actually. Did you look at this? It's ice. And the water is, because uh, that's when it was like minus 20 degrees out. But yeah, this is all ice. Now, when I was a little girl, they used to, it used to freeze because it used to get really, really cold. And we would go ice skating, but it doesn't get as cold anymore. Let's see, there's the geese. Can you see the geese? Okay. Yeah, I was getting ready to get pissed. I was like, I know somebody did not put trash. <laughs> That's why I have my eye doctor appointment in January. Okay walk but anyway I was saying like I'm not I know I'm not professional and so that's just how it's gonna be it's gonna be real life when I start vlogging you know I mean of course there are some things I'll edit out you know but I want it more real life things happen and you know life is not perfect okay I'll turn you around to me but I do want to keep turning you guys around. I want to get close to where you guys can see the birds. Okay. There's the sun. This is no swimming. <laughs> All right, but yeah, see, it's like ice. All right, let's see what you guys can see. find a spot to sit so we can talk yeah I haven't been out here in a minute it's been a couple months I think well ever since I got my car I've been doing the walk and talks and car vlogs and to be honest I haven't really like filmed just me walking you know all right let me get this together I don't know if you guys can see the geese or not. I believe they're in that area right there. I don't know. But yeah, let me know what you guys been up to. I was like, you know what? I got very lazy since I got my car because now I just drive to the trail and I'll walk for about an hour. I'll edit it down to like 20 minutes because a lot of times me and Nala were just looking and you know, all that kind of stuff but I don't actually like walk to the places anymore. And I'm like, I gotta start doing that because I'm telling you 2023 is going to be so different. I, 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 and I, it has to be. Oh, very quickly on my main channel, if you like makeup, I have a giveaway um, on that channel right now. This is what the thumbnail looks like and it's open up till January 9th. So I'll leave the link in the comment section, also in this description box, if you want to enter. And that's just more like of a thank you video. I mean, yeah, well, it is a thank you video, but a thank you giveaway. And I got emotional in that video, which I was not planning on it because that video was already filmed, but I used my phone to film and with storage and everything like that. So I had to like delete some videos and I delete the wrong video. And anyway, I had to redo it. And I just got emotional. I just start thinking like, where my life was a few years ago to where it is now. And it's so different. The way that I think, my mind, my mental health, my physical health is so different. I mean, listen, I still got a lot to do, trust me. See, now I gotta walk because I get that anxiety. I can't sit in one spot. Hold the phone. 
I gotta get used to having this book bag on me again. But anyway, it, it's just, it just got emotional because gosh, I remember like just three years ago, oh, I was so depressed. So I would film like unboxings and stuff on my main channel, but I would be kind of happy, right? Because unboxings and filming brings me joy, makes me happy. So it wasn't like it was fake. But then after I cut the camera off, you know, and stuff like that, it was like my life, reality hit me, like my real life. And I was just very depressed and grieving. And I went through like the shocked stage, denial, then the sad, then the anger, then the sad again then the guilt. It's so many stages of grief, of loss. And because I didn't go to counseling, I just kept it in. I held it in. And then that was a time like me, my marriage wasn't good. It was everything, you know, going on that it, it, it was just a very difficult time. And I remember my unboxing. See, I'm thinking like, oh, I'm just being honest if I don't like something. But I'm seeing, I, I started watching videos from two, three years ago. And I was like, okay, I get it. <laughs> I get it. But when you're going through it, when you are in that state of mind, like mental health, you know, you don't realize the way that you're acting. I mean, I was diagnosed with bipolar, but prior to that, I didn't know I had it. So I was undiagnosed not taking medication. I had the mood swings, everything. So it was a very rough patch for me. And I kind of like took it out on people. I did not know that. No, I didn't do this all the time, of course, you know, but I just see how, how I handle things then. Before, you know what I would do? I would literally just sit and cry. You know, like I told you when I first moved into my mom's house and the heat wasn't working and stuff like that, I, it was, it, it, I would just cry. But I'll tell you one thing that I have learned. I learned who was really there for you when you need them. Because sometimes you think like, even though I was like that, I mean, there were people that, like I, I said in my main channel, like on the video, like that just wash their hands and I don't blame them listen if I'm negative and all that kind of stuff then yes that's what you that's what you need to do but you have to at least let them know because I didn't know it was that bad oh my gosh and um anyway I handle things a lot different now so like when I'm stressed out or I'm going through things, guess what I do? I get out and walk like what I'm doing. Like today I had anxiety. So I just started walking. I told Isaiah, go ahead, take the car. And I walked here. I'm not so needy, if that makes sense. You know what I mean? I also learned, and I've known this for a while, but I really understand is not everybody thinks like you, right? Give an example. Let's say I'm talking to one of my friends, okay? And my husband gets home from work, all right? And they're in the middle of a conversation. I'm using this just as an example. They're in the middle of a conversation, I'm in the middle of a conversation, okay? I finish talking, whatever. I mean, I just go like this, say hi to my husband or whatever. And then I hang up. But see, not everybody does that, right? They do because their family comes first. So if I went over a conversation and their husband or wife or whatever comes home, you know, and you cut me off, say, okay, I gotta go, so-and-so is here, bye. You know, I would be like, damn, <laughs> what the hell? But it was like, that's their family, their family comes first. And I have to understand that because I used to get my feelings hurt. It's so stupid, but that's what depression does. Little things like that, I, I don't know. So that's what I mean, like I'm just, I just do me, I walk. I'm telling you, walking and just talking. That's why I love this second channel because it's like therapy for me. Not that I consider you guys my therapist. Is, I'm always scared I'm gonna hear a snake. Snake and dogs, ugh. Um, it's more like when I talk, it helps me. 
you know? And it also helps some of you guys that are going through the same thing. You know, it makes you feel not alone. Like it makes me feel not alone, you know, cause nobody has a perfect life, you know, like YouTubers, right? You, what do you see? 15, 20 minutes. If they vlog 30 minutes, maybe an hour out of their day or a couple days, that's all you see. And most people put their best moments online. They're not going to like put when they're arguing with their husband or their wife or when they're upset or when they're going through things. No, it's all, let's go shopping. Let me show you what I got. Haul, you know, I got all this money. Let me show you this. Let me show you that. Like a perfect marriage, you know, that's not how it is. I mean, some people have that type of life, but most people don't. And so I come on here and I share like my struggles, my mental health, my, uh, my physical health, you know, and you know, I'm not perfect and I have marriage issues and I have issues myself that I'm working on. And you know what I mean? I mean, look how long it took me to get a car, right? Man, COVID hurt a lot of people. So that's why I really enjoy this channel because I could be me. There for a while, I felt like I'm walking on eggshells because if I talk about something, just use something as an example, sometimes people thought I was talking about them. And it's like, is that a guilty conscience or, you know, cause I'm not, I'm just talking. But um, 2023, like I said, it's gonna be different. I'm not gonna care anymore. And um, it, it, you know, you're gonna see more of me. Uh, I wanna take you more in my house, when I cook dinner, just more of me, if that makes sense on this channel. Uh, we're gonna start going places. So, even if it's stuff like this that I'm just walking and talking, <laughs> nothing interesting, just talking. You know, I see a lot of comments, uh, not a lot, but a few. I don't know why I said a lot, you know, but many of you have a lot of health issues. And even if, let's say you can't walk, you have problems with your legs or something. Even if you go outside and sit on your porch, if you don't have a porch, you sit on your step. If you don't have that, sit by a window, open that window, get some fresh air. I'm telling you, it will do, it will do a body good. You know, it really does help, honestly, because just walking now, getting that sunlight, it, it, uh, it changed my mood already. Like my anxiety is going down, you know? If you need to start a YouTube channel because you have no friends or nobody to talk to, and you just want, even if nobody listens, okay? You have no subscribers, no views. Just talking will help. But 2023, we have to work on our health. Guys, life is so short. Even if it's just your mental health. Because for many years, my mental health was so bad. And, and it, it, it would just sit there and cry. I mean, what kind of life is that? You know? Once I started getting out and doing walk and talks, has changed. if I would have known this a few years ago, it's like, you know better, you do better, right? There's so many people that if you have a car, Everybody gets in their car and they go. They don't walk. Walk your neighborhood if you can. Walk a couple houses down or sit on your porch or what. Now, I understand some people that have like lung issues and health issues can't do that. I, I understand that. I'm saying if you can, just even if it's just a little bit. When I wake up in the morning now, let me tell you what I used to do a few years ago. Well, even up a year ago, I would get up. Look at my view, you know, like look at my channel, see how many views I got, look at my comments, answer comments, go to my email, see what company got a hold of me, you know, because I'm a one person show, you know, I don't have like a team. I don't do that anymore. Well, no, I'm lying. The first thing I would do is get a cup of coffee. <laughs> now I still get my cup of coffee, but as I'm drinking my coffee, I go outside. I talk to God. I mean, this is just what I do. I always say, my gosh, look how beautiful everything is. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for another day you wake me up. Thank you for another day with my children. 
wow, look at the leaves. Like, look how beautiful everything is. You know, like, I think like that. And it really does make my day different. It really does. Some people meditate, you know? But I just, I, I, I don't, I don't even know how, but, you know, I just, I just give thanks. I appreciate what I have. And then I go in my room and I read my Bible for a little bit. I mean, that's just what I do. Or I'll listen to some church or some gospel music. That's how I start my day. Then I'll go in, of course, and I'll look and, and do that kind of stuff. But I do believe how you start your morning makes a difference how your day goes, how you think. I truly believe that. You know, it's like when my heat wasn't working, you know, instead of me just sitting there like, oh, my God, you know, I should have been like, well, it's better than being outside. There's some people that are outside in the cold. At least I have a house. I can go in my room and go under my covers. You know, it's the way that you think when things are going wrong. Because, you know, I was always the type like, oh my God, this happened, this happened, this happened, this happened. But now I'm like, okay, this happened, but I have this. Does that make sense? So those are the few things like I learned, like I know what I do different has really changed my life. Just those little things, the way that I think. Some of you guys say like, uh, you want to start a YouTube channel, but you don't have lights. You don't have this. You don't have, you don't need to look what I'm on. I'm on a selfie stick and on a camera, on a, a phone. And I'm just walking. I'm out in the daytime. No fancy, nothing. I don't even have makeup on. You know what I'm saying? I don't even have mascara on. You don't need money. This costs nothing to walk and talk. Does that make sense? You can start a channel if you want to do unboxings or makeup reviews, okay? Sit in front of a window. You don't need all that fancy stuff. The amount of money I spent on backdrops, I have over 70, yeah, 70 backdrops. And I only use a good handful of them. I wasted so much money. Now, I do believe once you, I mean, what I'm saying is you don't need a lot to start. Once you start and you realize you like it because you don't want to spend all this money and then you decide you don't like YouTube, right? Then you wasted money. But you do it for a while, you like it. I do believe getting a good either ring light or soft boxes, okay? But really, that's it. Or like I said, during the day, sit in front of windows. Natural light is the best light. We have to stop making excuses not to do stuff. We have to stop being so scared. We make excuses because we're scared. That's that's real what it is. Well, I don't have this. Like it, on my main channel, I didn't do get ready's with me. Well, I, I, I can't do this or this or the, you know, I've always had excuses. No, you guys just went to see how I applied my makeup. That's it. I was the one I was thinking too much. You know what I'm saying? So anything you want to do, just do it. Just do it. I have a couple of friends, right, who have YouTube channels and they have smaller channels than me. And they say, you know, you're lucky you get PR and you get stuff and you get sub subscription boxes sent to you. And when I first started, I said this before, there was only a few unboxing channels. So you did not get PR like subscription boxes. You had to pay. And so I will put out videos almost every single day. So I was paying like 20, 25 different subscription boxes. Oh yeah. I was paying like between five to $700 a month. Oh, there's a cat. Five to $700 a month. And I wasn't monetized yet. Then when I got monetized, I was still in the red because I wasn't making what I was spending, right? And then subscription boxes got like really, like about 2018 subscription boxes start getting really popular. And you know, then I start getting sent some, like the smaller boxes, which I was happy to get. But it wasn't until this past year that I start getting like 
PR, like makeup and all that stuff. Like, you know, like I, it's February, but six years I've been doing YouTube, like on my main channel. So like I, I, I put my foot in, you know, you can't, if, if you want to start a channel, you can't think like, don't start a channel because you want to make money and you want to get PR because you will be sadly upset because it's not as easy as what it looks. Now, some people just have luck, right? But no, you have to put your time and your work in. You have to put money in if you want to be in like beauty, you know, um, like if you want PR and all that kind of stuff. It doesn't happen overnight. Now it's a little bit easier. I'm not going to lie. You know, like you can start a channel, have about... 500 subscribers a thousand subscribers and you will get PR back in the day a few years ago it wasn't like that so you have to want to start a channel because you just want to start a channel like you want to do YouTube you want to make videos you know you want to make friends if that makes sense do it as a hobby you know I wish I had somebody tell me this type of stuff back then because I was like business, 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 business. And I start getting overwhelmed and stressed and worrying about my views and all that kind of stuff. And it's so stupid. If you do YouTube because you enjoy it and you like it, people will come. They'll see it. I don't know if this is like a rant or venting. I don't know what this video turned into. <laughs> One of those days. You ever have those days like it started off when my uh, phone holder in the car didn't work. And then it just went from there. I don't know. Then I was going to go to the post office. I have something in here um, that I have to do. And then there was a loose dog. So I couldn't do that. <laughs> It, so I, I don't know what this video is, but I'm still going to post it because I want to show that not everybody's perfect. They're not always great days, you know? Oh, I hear the, what do you call it? The birds. All right, I guess I'll do one more lap and then walk home. And that is a good exercise for me. I have my husband uh, drop this off. My husband works at a school, so he has off, like kids do, so he's on his Christmas vacation. And he goes back to work next week. You know what's weird? I was telling the dentist today, I'm like, I cannot believe in a few days it's gonna be 2023. I just, I, it doesn't seem like December, and I don't know if it's because I don't have any kids in school anymore. So it just seems like another day. I don't know if that makes sense. Like when kids are in school, you know, because they have their vacation or they make stuff or whatever. I don't know, it just, this is the first year, like the first Christmas, like, cause Isaiah graduated last year in January. So this is the first year, like, like I have nobody in school, you know? It's just weird. And they're older, you know, my youngest is 18. So it's just weird. I, I don't know how to explain it. I told Nala, you guys have, remember like her back and her tail. She had another skin infection. So I take her after the holidays. So I think it's next week already. And um, they gave me like a little, uh, I don't know if it's like a volume or something to give to her when I take her. Cause um, they have to do blood work and they're gonna give her an allergy test of environment and food allergy. So I know like, what is going on? Because this is the worst she's ever been. Where well, she was almost completely bald, like she what she, well, she was, and it was like getting red. Where she was itching it, and it was just terrible. So I didn't want to take her for like walks, take her out. But I told her I can see her hair growing back, and um, it doesn't look irritated anymore. So I was like, oh, we'll go on a walk tomorrow. She seen me putting this on and she got all excited. I'm like, oh no, because this is when I thought I was going to the post office. You know, I can't take her inside the post office with me. All right, I guess I'm gonna turn around and start walking home. It's about a 30 minute walk, I guess, not too bad. 
So let me know in the comments, like what are some things that you guys want to see me do um, in 2023? Like go to different trails. I know you guys want to see me with Nala, but like go different places. Like, what do you want? Do you like, what do you like the best? Do you like my walk and talks? Do you like when I car vlog? Like when I take you around with me? Do you like when I take you in the stores with me? Like, let me know because I want to make the vlogs, well, for me, it's like therapy, but for you guys too, for you guys to enjoy them. So let me know. Like, it won't hurt my feelings if you're like, well, Ann, I really don't like when you do this or I don't like when you do that. That doesn't hurt my feelings. So just let me know. And yeah, that's everything. It's a really nice day for December. All right, guys, please like this video. It really does help me out. It helps out with engagement or dislike it. That helps me out as well. Make sure you leave a comment. Commenting really does help out with engagement. And uh, yeah, that's everything, guys. Stay beautiful, stay blessed, stay healthy. And most importantly, I love that thing. Always stay you, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys. I don't know that was supposed to be a positivity video and i don't know what the hell happened where did it turn wrong i went in from a positive to a rant to vent is rant and vent the same thing i don't know <laughs> oh jesus you're gonna put it up and you are going to put up this vlog you don't always have to be perfect no you don't